Today, I'm going to show you how to etch glass with your full spectrum laser for your woodworking projects. I'm making a corner cabinet to go in my music room. The cabinet will have glass doors etched with a musical quarter rest on the back of the pane. I've always loved the look of the symbol and even have it tattooed on my arm. The cabinet is made up of Baltic birch plywood with walnut accents. If you want to watch a complete tutorial on how the woodworking part of this build was done, check out my website at makesomething.tv. The doors are made from tongue and groove joinery and will have a rabbit routed in the back to hold the glass panes. The glass is simply held in the doors with window screen clips. The glass panels I'm using doesn't fit into the full spectrum laser, but one of the cool features is you can remove the bottom panel and engrave on just about any size piece you may have. I'm using masking tape on the glass to help me line up and register where I want my artwork to go. I read a tip that covering the glass with wet newspaper will help keep the glass cool during engraving and prevent fractures. It turns out it wasn't necessary, but it's something you might want to keep in mind if you do run into issues. Something else to consider is cutting out a stencil on contact paper and using that stencil with glass etching cream for more of a traditional way to etch glass. I'm using the Retina Engrave software that comes with the full spectrum laser and ended up doing two passes at 100% power and 50% speed and was very pleased with the final result. Well here it is complete. Behind the glass I have countertop laminate used as backing. The dark back highlights the etching. I've made the back panels removable which allows me a few options. I could use the laminate, a birch background, or no background at all to show the contents of the cabinet. Well thank you for watching. You'll find links to the full spectrum laser as well as the woodworking part of this build down below. And if you want to learn more about me, check out my website at makesomething.tv. As always, be safe, stay passionate, and make something.